Hello and welcome back to Joe's Math Tools. In our session today, we are solving a two-step equation when we're using subtraction and multiplication. So if you're ready, let's get started. On our equations today, we will be solving for our unknown variable a. And in solving these type of equations, remember that we are applying our two-step equation rules. And our whole goal is to get our unknown variable a on one side of the equation by itself. So we're going to start by first moving our constant 4 and grouping it on the, on the opposite side of our equal sign with 7, which means that since 4, is being added on the left hand side we will now subtract 4 from 7 on the right hand side of our equation so remember we always perform the opposite operation on the other side so we're going to put back our a over 4 and when 7 minus 3 minus 4 is going to equal to 3. so now that we have simplified one side of our equation our last step now is to get is to continue grouping our like terms, which is our constant now 3 and 4. And we're going to do this by multiplying 4 on the opposite side. Remember that when we have a and it's being divided by 4 or is written in this form here where we have a over 4, this is division. So when working with division, we're going to do the opposite step, which is to perform multiplication on the other side of the equation. So our 4 will be multiplied to 3. And when 4 is multiplied to 3, our a will be equal to 12. Okay, so we solved our last equation. We said that a is equal to 12. So now we're going to perform our check by substituting a for 12 everywhere that it appears in our equation. I remember that with these type of equation, we can check our answers in two ways, which is the same way we could have solved the last equation in two different ways. You could either decide to find the LCD of your equation, or you can go through the same steps that we did in the last step by grouping our like terms together and then performing our cross multiplication. But either way, there is multiple ways that you can approach solving or checking your answer for this equation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify my fraction where I have 12 over 4. And remember, 12 over 4 is the same thing as saying that 12 is being divided by 4. And when 12 is divided by 4, that is equal to 3. So 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. I remember that when both sides of the equation is equal to the exact same number, then that means the solution that we got, which is a is equal to 12, is the correct answer for our equation. Okay, so here's another example that we're going to work through. So feel free at this point to pause the video, solve the equation for yourself, and then when you're ready, you can unpause the video and work along with me to see if we got the exact same answer. Okay, so we're going to begin first again by collecting our like terms and since my 6 is being added on the left hand side i am going to be subtracting that 6 on the right hand side of my equation so remember we always perform the opposite operation on the other side of the equation so now we're going to put back our d over 2 and we're going to simplify our 9 minus 6 which is equal to 3 and now we have division with d being divided by 2 and again we're going to perform the opposite step and since 2 is being divided into d that means on the other side of our equation we will be multiplying 3 times 2 to find that our d is equal to 6 and now for our last step remember that whenever you have the option to check your equation Make sure that you check your solution. 
And for this process, what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the answer different from what I did in the first step. I'm going to go through the steps that we applied in our and working out the equation so that you can get a second step or a second process on how you can check your equation. So I'm going to put back my 6 over 2. And again, I'm since 6 is being added, that means I will subtract 6 on the right-hand side. I'm going to put back my 6 over 2. 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. And now I'm going to do the cross multiplication. Remember that this is not the only way that you can check your answer, but I'm just giving you an alternative method because if you are familiar with your rules with fractions, there are multiple ways that you could have gone about checking your answer for this equation. And since both sides of our equation is equal to 6, then that means that your answer, which is D equals 6, is the correct solution for this equation. Okay, so there you have it. We just solved the two-step equation when we're using subtraction and multiplication. Remember to get some additional practice in, continue developing your skills, and we'll see you right here in the next video on Jules Math Tools where we aim daily to make math easy.